Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And today we are going to be farming Chia on a USB drive. This is a 128 gigabyte SanDisk USB 2.0 drive. This is probably one of the least effective and least least cost effective ways to farm Chia, but I want to know, can we do it? And, you know, since this is the internet, we're going to find out. So um, I'm going to plot straight to this USB, this poor USB 2.0 drive. Oh, actually, I can't plot straight to it. Um, it's only got 128 gigs. That's not enough temporary storage. So I'll have to use uh, another drive as the temporary drive and then have this as the final drive. But uh, can we do it? So um, I actually don't know. I, 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 I don't see why not, but should we do it? That's the question. Uh, anyway, I got this for 15 bucks uh, at my local Best Buy. Um, that puts the price per terabyte pretty high. Uh, yeah, let's let's go. There's no, I, I need to quit talking about it. Let's just do it. All right, guys. So let's start. Hold on. There's my mic. Um, let's start the plot on the USB drive. So we're going to do K32. That's standard right now. It's 101.4 gigabytes. And the temporary space is 239. Plot count, plot count is going to be one. We're going to put this one in parallel. Two threads. 3390 on the RAM. Just bone, bone stock settings. Uh, for the temporary folder, I'm just going to use... I had an extra hard drive that I wasn't using at the moment. Let's see here. Uh, extra space. Chia. It's not going to be fast, but it'll be okay. And then final directory. So I was actually worried because this uh, this USB drive, it, it only had 114 gigabytes, but it looks like I only need about 102 gigabytes. So it will be able to fit one full plot on it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. So select folder. Boom. Create plot. So this one down here at the bottom is the plot that is getting plotted to the USB drive. Well, it's actually getting plotted to a hard drive, and then it's going to get dumped onto the USB drive. So um, I guess I'll see you guys a long time from now. And with the power of YouTube magic. Okay, it's actually been like almost three days now, and... This plot right here, this is the one that was for the USB drive. I've plotted, I don't know, I was at 800, so I've plotted another 11 plots in that time frame. And my other plots are just been, ch you know, chugging along, they finish, and they go to farming. But right here, this bad boy is the USB drive plot. It got to 100% and it will not actually transfer over to the USB drive. If I go to my computer, hold on, this PC... And I go right here, uh, the USB drive is still empty. And the temporary drive I was using it still has all the temporary files in it. Uh, so I was like, hmm, wonder what that is. What that be? What that be? It's not even trying. So I went into the log, which to get into the log, you go into local disk C, users, the account that you're on. And then you go into dot chia, then mainnet, and then logs. And then from there, you can click on the debug log. My log is 8,000 kilobytes. That is insane for a log. Um, so this thing has been having errors after errors after errors. And it's the same exact thing. Um, I let somebody look at this that actually knows things. Because I don't know things. Let's be honest here. And apparently it has something to do with the fact that the USB controller and the way the USB flash drive works. It doesn't keep a, an open channel long enough or something for the transfer um and it won't transfer transfer that much data with the chia application he said you might be able to get it to work through the command line i told him it wasn't that important um but then he brought up a really valid point to me and i'm actually going to probably make a, a full video on this in the future um 
storing to really, really slow drives is not a good idea because if it takes you longer than 30 seconds to access uh, a farming drive, like for a pass through, or I can't remember what it's called. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't know what it's called, but apparently if it takes longer than 30 seconds for that farming drive to verify the block or, or whatever it does to farm, you will not get the reward. So storing to a USB 2.0 flash drive was a horrible idea because even if it did actually plot and farm off of that USB flash drive, there's a good chance that it would never be able to access it fast enough and verify that it was correct. So um, running hard drives, apparently if you're running semi-modern or halfway decent hard drives, not an issue. Super, super old, low speed hard drives are having some issue issues and also apparently uh, old NAS systems. Uh, if you have a bunch of them pooled together on a really old NAS drive or NAS system, apparently that can also give you read time issues and you won't actually get paid out. Because, I mean, we ain't farming just for the fun of it. We're trying to get paid out. Uh, as of right now, I have uh, I have made zero uh, XCH, but I only have 20 plots running. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, I'm going to keep on going. Full disclosure, me and a few friends are pooling together. So we in total have about 70 plots and we're just going to split it once it, or if we actually ever hit anything. I think in total for us all together, 70 plots puts us at a well, 75, but yeah, 70 plots puts, puts us at an expected time to win of three months. We're all going to keep plotting. Uh, and we're, we're basically fighting an uphill battle of difficulty and the network exploding. Will we actually ever get anything? Nobody knows. But find out on the next episode of Brandon Coin YouTube channel. All right, guys. Have a good one. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Peace.